Hey guys, I'm so happy to see you again. I'm going to show you how to use polygon command. Let's start. Polygon command allows you to draw polygon, of course. But the fact that is it actually draw a polygon for you. The object is a polygon, not polygon. Uh, in South Tokyo, there's no polygon object. I will show you that. Anyway, the shape is a polygon. So there are different options. I allows you to specify radius of polygon measure from center to corner. You see, center to corner. For example, with the radius 500, it will be from here to here. The size of the polygon will be this. The second one, C, radius of circle measure from center to midpoint of edge. So from center to midpoint of edge. See, depend on which information you have, you will select the appropriate one to create the polygon. And finally, E, the edge. Define polygon by end points of one edge. You see, if you specify these two points, distance 500, it will create this polygon. Let's go into AutoCAD. To access polygon command, you either type P-O-L, P-O-L, polygon, and spacebar. So, or uh, you can go to the draw panel in the home ribbon, home ribbon draw panel, and under this arrow, click it and then select the polygon. Okay, so I select the polygon. The first thing AutoCAD asks you is, Polygon enter number of sizes. For example, I want to draw this. So this is five sizes. I will input five space bar. And then it asks me for center of polygon. Mm, might be here. So just click. And now it is asking you I or C. For example, I know the distance from center to corner is 500. So I will select the I. And then I will input 500 for the radius, okay? The second one, first I will press spacebar to repeat last command. Number of sizes still five, so I press spacebar to accept the five. And center of polygon, I will click here. And this time I is, will choose the C. And then I will input 500 space bar. C, C means the radius will be measured from center to midpoint of edge. And the name you can see is, is derived from this idea. This is the polygon is inscribed in a circle. This one, the polygon is circumscribed a circle. To remember why this is quite easy. You see I is sharp, so you think of the corner. C is wrong, so you think of the edge. And the last one, for example, I don't know the radius of the polygon. How can I draw it if I only know one size of it? Then you use edge. So, spacebar to repeat last command, and still 5, spacebar. And then I will type E for edge, spacebar. And first point, I just click any point. And now I move horizontally, you can see uh, it's asking me the second point. I now input 500 and spacebar to finish. So this is the basic usage of polygon. And now if you move your mouse over the polygon, look at this. There's no polygon, this is a poly nine. Now it's time to do some wonderful concept review exercise. Again, suggest you download it first and try it yourself before you watch the answer, okay? So, I assume you already done that. Let's take a look at this one by one. First one, this one here, the way this is measured from center to side, so this should be C. So I will select polygon. And then five spacebar, click anywhere at start point, and then I will type C spacebar, 
and for the radius I will input 500 okay so that's the first one the second one you need to draw two cos 9 and a square inside so I draw the 9 first I type L for the 9 command click upon I move horizontally I input 2000 spacebar spacebar to finish and then I will use rotate command select the 9 spacebar click on the midpoint and then make sure you type C for copy and rotate and this is the one I want so just click for rotate command you may reference the rotate command reference in my channel okay now it's time to draw this square you see if you use rectangle command you don't know where to start the rectangle you have to use object snap from to, to be able to get the correct location but instead if you are using polygon it is easy polygon number of sizes for spacebar and center polygon click here now I or C look at the polygon you see from center to one side is 500 so it should be C and then 500 spacebar next one you can see radius from the center to corner is 500 so I will use I for this case spacebar to repeat last command and H for the sizes and center of polygon maybe I click here and then I or C of course I from center to corner so I and now for the radius I input 500 hmm something wrong the size of polygon is okay but this is rotated okay the thing is AutoCAD by default will create polygon like this if you want polygon like this one without the need to rotate afterward you can do it this way first I type U spacebar and do it and then I go polygon and number of sizes H and then center polygon click here and then I now for the second point don't just input 500 instead think of this if you move your mouse horizontally if you can click a point which is 500 from the center using your mouse to click it precisely then you can get exactly the same shape so what I mean is you actually can input the pawn so 500 comma zero is the pawn on the on the white so you just type 500 comma zero and space bar you see you get this one so from this you know that when AutoCAD asks you for uh, length the radius you can also input a pawn to to tell AutoCAD exact size AutoCAD will calculate from previous pawn to this pawn the length okay now let's go down to this one mm, you can see this is edge mode E so uh, polygon uh, six sizes six spacebar center polygon I don't know the center but I know the edge length so type E for edge E spacebar and I just click one point and move horizontally and I type 500 and spacebar now the polygon is created but uh, it has some width of 50 how to do it to do it you just need to click on the polygon and control one because polygon is a poly 9 poly 9 has thickness you just use control one control plus one to access the property menu so and now you select the global width here and type 50 enter now you can see it has thickness okay 
Next, we have this shape, uh, Jackson symbol. It looks easy, but if you don't know the tricks, it takes some time. One way to do it is you type C, click, and then 500, okay? And then you draw polygon. Don't draw an idea. It takes time for you to adjust. Instead, you draw polygon. A number of sizes, 4, and center, and then C. Circumscribe the circle. So at this angle, I click. This is a polyline, so that means I can type X to expose it. So X, spacebar, select the polygon, spacebar, now it is exposed. Now I can erase these two by the E, erase, and then use 9 command to draw it back. Okay, so that's the one. The last one is quite interesting. You actually start with a polygon to draw the star. Let's start. So I will start with the polygon, five sizes, and I will use edge, and I click upon, and move horizontally to the left, and then input 300. You can see inside this star, you can see the polygon. Okay, this is the one. And now you need to expose it. So X spacebar, select the polygon spacebar. Now it is spoken into individual nine. Now I will use extend command EX to extend the nine to become the star. So EX spacebar, select these five nines and spacebar. And then here, of course, I can click on the edge one by one, but that's there's a way which is quite interesting, which is you select the fence option here, F, and then you move your mouse over the midpoint of edge, somewhere, maybe somewhere here, click, and then move to the next midpoint of edge, and then click, click, just like that. Click, click. You see, it extends for you. Spacebar to finish this. Now to trim away the extra line, you hold the shift key, hold the shift key, and then select by crossing. Okay, select by crossing. Look at it here. Shift select to trim. Okay, so make sure you read what AutoCAD asks you. It always help you to learn it fast. And spacebar to finish. I wish you like it. If you like it, again, please subscribe and, and like. Thank you. Bye-bye.